Welcome back to the channel to another episode on customizing another action figure. And if you're looking at this tunnel, well, it's really a tunnel of a, a thought process. Every idea, every figure starts with a thought process. And the thought process behind this was using this figure to create Aqualad. As you can see, I've got several head sculpts to choose from, and I had to choose the one that best fit the character. So I chose this one. I actually had two of this. And this is a Superboy head sculpt, which I later modified to look more like Aqualad. One, by removing that curl in front of the forehead and adding more hair to the back of the head to make it look like a full head of hair. So if you saw the episode earlier on using skin tones or making your own skin tones, that's the exact technique that I used here. And once you create the skin tone that you like, then you can go ahead and seal your work and start working on the rest of the figure. In this case, I chose this. I don't recommend using the actual palette the way I glued it here. It just didn't really work out for me. So I ended up using my old system on that spool and using the head on that to be able to get to the different angles. Just remember that this channel is nothing more than ideas for you to implement in your creative work. You don't have to use all of them. If you've got a better idea, fantastic. This only gives you a starting point to get to where you want to go. But let's get back to working on Aqualad. Now once you've chosen the body you work to work with, in this case I chose Blue Beetle, and by the way, all those graphics, all the blue paint, that comes off easily with acetone. I then prepped it with a white paint, or you can use primer, so that I can get a bright red tone. I used a black to give it the shading going from bottom to top with the airbrush and going with red over that and that gave me the look as if I actually painted it with two or three different tones of red. Now if you want to see that technique you can go back to some of the other videos and you'll see that implemented on some of the other projects. I won't be showing you that on this because it's just the same repeat process that I've done in the past. And yes, these are the five colors that I chose to paint the skin tone and the rest of the outfit on this sidekick to the main character, which we know is Aquaman. So if you want to go back in and see more of those techniques, you can certainly do so. It's painted using only five colors. Not only does the skin tone have five colors in it, well, the actual hair has a few tones in it, and the red on the chest or the actual torso has a few different tones. Now if you're looking at this here, and I do want you to look at this here, is those shoulder discs, those are actually painted blue. I had to take the paint off of those. But here I was trying out something different. I wrapped them with a vinyl uh, tape and that just really didn't work out. It just doesn't fold over correctly and it leaves these creases. So I took them off and painted them. Now, once you paint the legs, using the techniques that I'd shown you in that video earlier, you'll be able to ha end up with this result. However, the result that many of us end up with is this, paint rub. So let me show you how to deal with paint rub, as that was a question that came up when I shared this clip on Instagram. I'll show you in a time lapse how to deal with that paint rub, and once that's done, we'll get back to the project in just a moment.
I know it was a short video, but it was really a very simple project. Now, if you're wondering how to get rid of that black line that's around the trunks on the Blue Beetle, that's just paint. You can take it off with acetone, and it is a molded plastic, so you won't damage any more of the figure. Any of the other blues that you see on the arms, the hands, the legs, or those uh, shoulder discs, that's actual paint. So be very careful if you're going to actually work on those. Don't remove the paint if you don't need to. Or in this case, I had to remove the paint on those shoulder discs to paint them red. So I'm going to leave you with some video. I hope that you learned something today. I hope that you liked the video. Keep in mind that this figure it will be up on my eBay store if you want to acquire it. And of course, don't forget to keep customizing. We'll see you here next time.